Hey VC, how's it going? Right, okay, very quick video. I uh, just want to show some VCLT that I received recently. Well, perhaps within the last couple of months from a, a, a couple of people. And also put in my entry to Psych in the Valley, Steve, his current competition that he's got going on. So, first of all though, this is what I'm listening to in the background. This is Gladys Knight and the Pips, second anniversary, 1975 on Buddha Records. Picked this up at a car boot this morning for a couple of quid, very nice. But what made me laugh was inside, you've got the poster. Big fold that poster. But also, it's a little bit of marketing here. Uh, be an honorary pip for the day, which I, the competition I'd very much like to enter, but I think I've missed the, uh, the closing date for that one. But yeah, very good, right, okay. So first of all, VCLT, um, Headley, another fat bearded man talking about records, sent me three albums, probably a couple of months ago now. Um, yeah, so obviously everybody knows Headley. Uh, he's uh, very much into his country music. His, his enthusiasm for the genre is infectious uh it's like a bloody disease as far as i'm concerned but uh but yeah we very kindly sent me three records first of all is this this is uh stephen sills manassas this is their debut album from 1972 on atlantic now i must admit i should have um, done a vclt video uh about these records a good month or two ago now when i received them but I haven't done it, and the reason being is because I didn't get into this record straight away. This is a record that I really expected to, to enjoy from the off, you know. I really like the first couple of Stephen Stills album, um, those uh, you know first two um, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young records, and the live album that came after that as well, all lovely. I like that sort of genre of stuff, you know, think about the first few band albums, whatever. Um, but so I, I really expected to, to love this from the off and I didn't it's taken me a couple of months to really get into it it's four sides of vinyl so perhaps the fact there's so much music on it has, uh, has sort of um, affected that but um, yeah I've played this quite a lot over the last week and I've, I've, I've really been enjoying it so it has taken me a little while to get there though so that's first up but the other two records that he sent I got into straight away first of all Charlie Rich this is the best of uh, fully realised, I think this is a compilation of stuff from the late 60s, early 70s. Um, everybody knows Charlie Rich for Behind Closed Doors, um, the most beautiful girl in the world. But um, yeah, the, the, the songs on the first side, of the, I say it's double album, four sides. So the first side of Vinyl this, the, the, the music is very soulful. It's not a straight country at all. So you may know the, the song Mohair Sound, which is, is the first track on this album. Which is a great tune. It's a real, it's a real dancer. I say the first few songs have got a bit of a northern soul type feel to them. It's not northern soul, but it's got that sort of, that sort of four to the floor beat going on. But yeah, so I played this quite a lot and really enjoying that. And to be fair, it's not something I would have purchased if I'd have seen it in the shop. So thank you, Headley. And the same with the final record that he sent, which is Don Nix, uh, Living by the Days. I don't know anything about Don Nix, but this album came out in 1972 on Electra Records. It's got a real sort of barroom rock and roll country feel to it, you know, a little bit stonesy in places. A few of the songs are new, but I, I assume I know from other versions. Um, I saw the lights on here, which I think Johnny Cash did, and numerous other country stars, I think. But yeah, really nice record. Heddy did so when he sent it to me. The, 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 the start of the record is warped, so you can't play the first track, but um, it just really gave me a flavour for it. And if I do, do see a better copy, I'll definitely be picking it up. Right, but thank you for that head, that's cool. One other bit of uh, VCLT I'll show today, this is Aerosmith Permanent Vacation. James Griffith sent me this uh, a month, six weeks ago now. I think we got in a conversation about Aerosmith a little while ago. I really like the album that came after this, which is Pump. Um, when I was a teenager, I listened to that album a hell of a lot. James said he bought this in the early 90s and never really got into it, so he sent it through to me. This was their, their big comeback album. Um, obviously, they had some big albums in the 70s, some great albums as well, stuff like Toys in the Attic, Rocks, great, great albums. And by the time we got to the early 80s, things have really tailed off. Too many drugs, I think. But um, this was their big comeback album, produced by Bruce Fairbairn. Um, singles on here, Dude Looks Like a Lady, Angel, um, Ragdoll. Yeah, some of the songs are co-written with Desmond Child. So, you know, all out to have a big hit album, it was, you know, so. But yeah, nice stuff. I saw it, Aerosmith, actually, probably about 15 years ago now. I saw them play at Madison Square Garden with a double header with Kiss and Aerosmith were much a better band on the night, so there you go, right. So, uh, Steve, Psych in the Valley, he's got a contest entry, um, contest going on at the moment. I think 400 subs. A great channel if you haven't seen it, check it out. And the, the contest is just to show um, album covers with vehicles on, modes of transport. So, I've just got a handful of these. So, first up, 
Um, Nilsson sings Newman, uh, a nice, nice early 70s record of uh, Harry Nilsson taking on Randy Newman stuff. Very nice. Songs in here like Living Without You, uh, Love Story, Vine Street. Very nice. Uh, Primal Scream, Exterminator. This is one of my favourite Primal Scream albums. Probably the one after. Scrimadelica would be my favourite, but this would be the one that I said come next. Uh, I think it came out in about 2000. Very much a, uh, got a crowd rock feel going on here in places. Very nice. Uh, I've shown this before, but this is Captain uh, Ganger and the Space Patrol, a dub album by tradition. This is the reissue that came out a couple of years ago, and that's got some sort of spaceship going on there. Uh, Lonnie Smith drives, you can see him there in his nice car. Lovely album from, I think, 1970, about 72, I think it is. Yeah, and this is on a uh, Blue Note, 70s Blue Note pressing of that. Very nice stuff. Uh, Black Keys Al Camino with their Al Camino van, very good. Uh, of course, you've got to show Prince on his motorbike, Purple Rain. I know that Steve likes pre Beatles rock and roll. This is uh, from the Shadows, albeit a late 60s record. Um, you can see uh, the chap there on his uh, nice BSA motorbike. Uh, this album's called Shades of Rock. Lots of nice covers on here. Really nice cover of Paperback Writer, if I remember rightly. Very good. And finally, some sort of bizarre spaceship. This is Death May Be Your Santa Claus by Secondhand. That's right, yeah. So, very cool. Anyway, cheers. Thanks.